Welcome back to this playthrough of Neverwinter Nights. Uh, last time we were checking out the estate here. That cook was a pain in the neck, so we're going to ignore him. And continue checking out this estate. And we're going to instantly run into a trap. <laughs> oh gosh. That's fine. That's fine, game. You just instantly caused me damage. The real question is, how are they getting into their own storeroom with that trap there? <laughs> uh, every time that guy wants to go in the kitchen, oh, oh, just gets spiked. Alright, that's fine. We're going to go this way. There's nothing there. Didn't really think there'd be traps in these mansions, other than maybe like on chests or something, but apparently I was wrong. Um, let's see. I wonder if I should check out this little room right here first, actually. You know what? Let's go back and check that real quick. I think, I think we checked all this stuff. Yeah, we checked all that last time. Okay. So we'll go in here, we'll go back into the kitchen, and there's a door right. Do we check this chest? Okay, okay. Oh, we didn't. Alright, Tommy, open that up for me. Oh, and there's a trap over here, so it looks oh, like. It's done. Go go get this trap now. I just Oh no. I just, no, Tommy, I need you to go handle that trap. Come on. Let's see if I can actually just tell you to do it. There we go. Handle the trap. I'm sure the only way I'm handling is, it is, is to set it off and cause us all damage. So, who's that? Oh, guards. Well, that's nobody. In fact, you're nobody compared to me. Love how Tommy, oh, I was going to say, Tommy's tanking all the damage. There we go, that's better. Tommy's, he's, I guess he's still tanking all the damage. He's taking a lot of damage, too. Shoot. Maybe like a taunt ability. Oh, yeah, there we go. Take that, and don't I have a... I did get a potion of cure light wounds. Let's give that to Tommy. And now I went from 12 to 22. That's not bad. 10 hit points. Okay, that's nice. A book pile. I think I might have that one, but I can sell all this stuff for a few nickels. That is a huge book. And there's a trap in the middle of the floor. how big that book is. What in the world is that? We can't even interact with it, oh, so I can't done. find out. But also, why was there a huge trap in the middle of the floor? That's messed up. Every time that noble goes to his desk, he has to carefully scoot around the edge or take massive damage. Oh, well, you know, I forgot I had those healers, kids. We can, where's that at? Let's see, I want to use it on Tommy. Let's see, oh nice, it healed him off completely, perfect. We don't need this open anymore, thank you, thank you. Another, another potion, we'll take it. All right, let's see here. Is there anything else in here? We didn't check this chest over here, I don't think. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, it's done. Boom. All right. Let us save. And there's another trap. Tommy, take care of that. Tommy, Tommy. Where was that at? Uh, 
No can do. What? It's like he's stuck in that spot. Come here, Tommy. Come on. There you go. Oh, I knew you could do it. Get over here and handle the strap. The AI is such a wreck. In this game, it's not the best, that's for certain. There we go. Now then. Oh, pfft. Oh my gosh, there are just traps everywhere. There's another one. Tommy, get over here. Come on, Tommy. Hey, Tommy, there you go. Oh, that's weird. He's like, oh, oh there we go. He's all of a sudden just not handling these traps automatically like he was before. Uh, it's done. I totally have the... Oops, I need to go this way. I totally have the Bilbo Baggins. Leonard Nimoy singing the Bilbo Baggins song in my head. Thanks, Reddit, for that. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I just... Oh my gosh. 90 points of damage. Oh my gosh. I was just blown up. Alright, wow. Alright, Tommy. We, uh... This estate is kicking our kicking our behind so far. Just saying. Did we open this chest, Tommy? We did. Alright, let's get out of here. And let's also put him on to uh where's that at? My goodness. <laughs> this whole estate is just covered in traps apparently. Like, this is getting ridiculous how many traps we've triggered now. Alright, Tommy, handle it. Tommy. Tommy, where are you going, Tommy? Where are you going? Oh my gosh, there's a trap on that end too. How are there this many traps? What kind of noble is this guy? What's wrong with him? Can't even wander the halls of his own home without being, like, horribly maimed. Like, the second he comes home one night drunk, or tired, well, pff, that's the end of his life. Maybe that's why I haven't found him yet. He's just dead somewhere already. Hop to, Tommy. That's the one that murdered us last time. 90 points of damage. Like, that's a deadly trap. And the door's not locked, though. Huh. I thought for sure the door's going to be locked. How much damage that thing did. Not detecting any traps, so I guess we'll check this out. A bullet, well. Okay, okay. An arrow and a potion of bless. What in the world? And one gold piece? A damage that does 90 points of damage was protecting that? Come on, game. That's fine. All right, we're gonna, oh, oh my gosh, we're not going to check that door, Tommy. Goodness. Some of these traps are just terrible. There we go. Okay. Huh. It's just another room. Desk. Chest. Not detecting any traps. Okay. Let's go to look. That's locked too. Alright. Tommy, get over there and ch open that one up too, I guess. So after this room, we've only haven't gone on to this little spot here so far we haven't really found anything in this area though haven't seemed to find I've found any information about where the other creature might be I'm sure there's one in the area though I 
keep thinking, oh, we'll find it. Like, other than that little, what was it, that secret room behind that bookcase. Nothing really came of that. Mm -hmm -hmm. We'll go check out this last section over here, and then we're getting out of here, because this is Trap City. Oh gosh, he just disabled another trap. What? A trap around the pool? Oh, done. Goodness gracious. Well, good job, Tommy. <laughs> you can go to take a swim and you just jump in and drop dead. Safely go in this door. <laughs> Say now every door I'm like expecting 90 points of damage. Blam! Nothing there, nothing there. That's a barrel. Barrel opens a barrel. Well, oh, there's some crates with arrows. Oh my goodness. Nothing good around here. Okay, well, we're gonna leave here. Oh, what? One more door at the end of the corridor here. Let's see what that one is, I suppose. Doesn't seem like we're finding anything too useful, though. We might as well finish exploring at this point. Hmm. Oh, hi there. Oh, there's a whole pile of cards. Well, at least we got him in a choke point, kinda. Oh yeah, thank goodness, apparently. Let me get in front of you, Tommy. Since there's like, what? How many guards here? Look at that, they're just piled up. Alright, Tommy, Tommy, please. You gotta let me get around you. I love how Tommy just charges in and t tanks for me. The conga line of death! Boom! Oh, no. Up in Tommy. There we go. Remains. We got a potion of bark skin. That's not the most useful, but we'll take it. And since we've got them, we might as well give a potion of cure light wounds uh, to Tommy. Might as well. Oh goodness, come on you two. There. What? Healed four hit points, what a joke. <laughs> Alright, I might as well save again. And uh, turn on all the trap finding. Cause I'm sure there's like 50 traps in here. Oh my goodness. At least I saved, I suppose, and only took 12 points of damage. Eesh, even with both of us searching, we still got hit by that trap. Okay, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's done. Sees Bilbo, Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins, greatest little hobbit of them all. Oh goodness, I got that song stuck in my head so bad. And you read it. Oh, there's a trap. <laughs> That's so funny. We detected a trap through a wall. We didn't detect the one at the door. We just opened previously and took damage. But through the wall, we got that one. Goodness gracious, game. On the plus side, I am making some money, so that's always useful. Okay. 
no, no, I don't. I, I don't want to talk right now, Tommy. I am sorry. Thank you. Ocean of Bless. Five gold pieces. Goodness gracious. This loot sucks. <laughs> well, let's try the next door over, I suppose. Uh, traps. Here we go. Apparently I need to just wander around in front of it. So, like, I'm pretty sure at this point they've, like, trapped every bedroom in this manner. Okay, okay. At least it appears we're about done in this manner. We're good because we're gonna get out of here. Ah, uh, it's done. It's the poorest noble I've ever seen. I guess he's poor because he spent all his money on traps. Ironically, he spent his entire fortune putting up traps to protect his fortune. Oh, and now he doesn't have any money left. Oops. Alright, one more door. I'm sure it's horribly trapped. Let's see. No? Huh. Ah! Ha ha! Game, dang you. Right as I ran towards it. Oh, there's a trap on both doors. Eesh. Let's say, I guess the, uh... Oh, nope, don't want to talk to you, Tommy. I'm sorry. I guess the uh, fact that he doesn't have any treasures really start... Oh, it makes sense! There's another one! My gosh! Trap the door. Trap the way in. Trap everything under the sun. I've been in dungeons, dungeons with less traps than this room. Sheesh. Oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. How many traps does this noble have? Aha. Gilded urn. Oh, Moonstone Mask Urn for a Folia. Isn't that what that po the portrait was for also? Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah. So this lady, this a Folia, wants all kinds of stuff from in here, but we've never actually talked with her. <laughs> Interesting. Where's that at? Let's see. This urn makes a rather cheap attempt at appearing stately, and may have once held the ashes of a respected but poor merchant or minor noble. More recently, it has held delicious-smelling after-dinner mints. It bears a dent that could have come from gripping it at the lip and delivering a swinging blow to the back of someone's skull, likely leaving his or her head in much the same condition as the urn. Strangely, best wishes Ophalia Cheldarstorn has been scratched into the base of it. Interesting, all these items have her name on it too. Huh. Let's see, a note from Hodge. This note from Hodge is intended for Ophalia Cheldorstorn, and, and consists of an almost steady stream of profanities and curses. Apparently, they have been exchanging such sentiments for a great deal of time, and he is none too pleased with having to flee his refuge yet again. Standard fare for vanquished foes. Huh. We're getting to wonder if the game expected us, for whatever reason, to have already talked with her. Because I feel like maybe we're supposed to know something. Hmm. Okay, okay. I don't know. I feel like I should know something that I don't know. Ah, uh, it's done. All right. Well, I suppose we'll. Uh... Yeah. 
should be able to... I think we should be able to leave. Because uh, I don't think there should be any more traps. At least I hope not. Hopefully we've gotten all the ones we needed to get so we can just leave. I suppose we'll find out as we trip over 50 traps on the way out the door, probably. Oh, I was going to say, you know what? Actually, there probably is another trap because I had forgotten about this one that we detected from the other side of the wall. Sheesh. Unbelievable how many traps there are in this, dun uh, this dungeon. That's what it seems like in this manner. Alright, let's get out of this death trap. Hmm. Guard dog, get out of here. I wonder if I should go talk to this person. She seems to be talking about magical beasts. I don't know who Meldenin is. Hmm. Where's the Moonstone Mask? That's in the main section, huh? Let's just see what this. Let's see what she says here. Oh my! Well, I suppose you must be one of the city guard, though I hadn't realized they were so desperate for recruits. The heck! What's with everybody bad mouthing me? Wow. Well, regardless, you do agree with me about Meldenin, don't you? He should be forced to end his hoarding and give up his stores. Uh, who is Meldenin? You don't know about Meldenin? Well, you must not be from, uh, be from around here, that's for certain. Meldenin is a vicious and evil little man. He does whatever he pleases in Black Lake because he has two things. Magic and power. He kidnaps people for his experiments, and has all sorts of magical abominations in his estate, and all the other nobles pretend, uh, pretend not to notice. Well, I won't, and I'm not intimidated by him. His merchant house has been hoarding food and goods for years in this district, and he should give it up whether he likes it or not. Uh, and who are you then? My name is Formosa. Leitinen, daughter of a noble house. I may be shut in behind these walls along with the rest of the nobility, but that doesn't mean I think we don't have a responsibility to the city. There are people starving out there. I would help them if I had food to offer, but only Meldenin has it. And having, uh, and having his hoard taken and given to the sick is the very least that Meldenin should, uh, should suffer. Yes, we, we got that part already. Some, I thought she was a noble house. I'm sure you can get food, but let's see. Uh, how do you know there's an actual horde? You talk like that's in question. Meldenin has never denied that fact, and everyone in Black Lake knows that it's true. He keeps a warehouse near here, locked up so tight with spells and wards, there's no hope of access without the proper key. Otherwise, the city would have stormed it long ago, I'm sure. Everyone's too frightened of Meldenin to do anything about it, however. So much easier to sit behind these walls and pretend there's no plague at all. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, it sounds like she's just making trouble. Uh, regardless, I think you're making trouble, and you should stop. I should stop, should I? I should stop caring about the people beyond this wall. I should stop caring that there's a monster in our midst. Well, I won't stop. You can't make me, sir. I spit at you for even suggesting it. Has everyone in the world gone mad? Bah, what's the point? What do you want with me, then, dwarven creature? Do you come to mock me with these others? I'm just investigating the plague, and I have some questions. I'm not here to answer questions, but if it's the plague you're interested in, have you thought of investigating Meldenin? I've heard about these, uh, those creatures from Waterdeep. 
It's entirely possible the saucer might have something to do with it, you know? He collects the oddest things and creates abominations. If you're interested in doing what's right, why don't you help me? You may be helping yourself at the same time. What do you say? Hmm. What exactly do you have in mind? That depends. Are you adverse to performing a task that some consider underhanded? Uh-huh. Yeah, so I don't really trust you for some reason. Uh, just how underhanded are we talking here? Wow, I am speaking of killing Meldenin and taking from him the key to his warehouse. Wow. Just kill him outright? What's wrong? Jeez. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I should steal the key either. I mean, my character's still a good character. Like, I have no reason to be after this guy. No, I won't do it. I didn't expect any help from one such as you anyway. Go on, run off. I shall find someone else who will help me. If, yeah, I don't know. She seems, she doesn't seem very trustworthy. There's the Melden in a state up there. Rumbottom Hodge. I think we'll just go check out his estate. Like, I don't know. She's not. She's not really giving me any evidence of why I should go off and murder the guy. My gosh. Like, that seems a little bit overkill. I need you to go murder him. Uh, okay, well. That's pleasant. Neverwinter Zoo? Really? Huh. Let's check that out. Oh. Let's see. Montgomery. Sure shot. Weatherson bids you welcome to his animal hold. View these beasts for only one gold. Well, sure, it's only one gold. You may enter. Remember that you are a guest and must abide by the rules of common courtesy. The guards do not listen to excuses. Oh, all right, let's check the zoo out. What? Keep your manners while he, uh, while here. Your gold buys you a look, and that's it. You should pr feel privileged that we work to stay open around the clock in these dangerous times. Well, I wouldn't expect there to be any traps, at least. You'd think. Oh, yeah, look at this. Uh, can I help you, Sally? A lion, a wolf. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of animals in here. Hmm. Uh, no Not sure if we're supposed to do something here, or there's mostly just a bunch of animals in here. It appears. Yep, there's a panther. Out of the way, Hubert. Can I cut? No, there's a brown bear. Can I cut through to the other side? Hmm. So the only way... What's this door here? Can I go in this door here? Is there an animal? No, there's an animal lying in there. So the only way to get through would be to... Looks like cut through an animal pen. Huh. Yes. Do make it quick. Let's see here. Yeah. Get lost. Can't you see I'm spending a day with my family? Stare right into his eyes, boy. Show no fear. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Most certainly not. I don't waste my time with guards or the rabble. Go protect some wench. I don't need you here. Yes, I see. Too busy scaring the animals and your children. What did you say to me? Listen, boy, I am important. I don't need to take that kind of abuse from the likes of you. Uh, let's see. Uh, don't worry, I won't waste my time on you. Yes, yes, just go. All right. Well, I guess we'll leave for the moment because I don't. I don't know. I'm not gonna break into the zoo. I don't think. At least not right now. Maybe at some point I will. Millie's house. Oh, okay. Hmm, 
And there's this one. You know what we're going to do? Because I've got plenty of money. Let's go back and sell some stuff. Erebeth, we need to talk. One of the bards here. I believe I heard Lord Nasher himself oh. the tomb in I guess we can get healed too. That's a good idea. All right. Yeah, these. I mean, these books are worth two gold apiece. I mean, that's something, I suppose. I don't know if that's really worth my time, but most of this is junk. Thankfully, it all adds up at least. Why can't I sell this? I can't. I can't. I can't use it. Really? What was this note? A splinter delivered in flight. I don't know if I need that for some reason. I can't remember now. Dang. I wanted to keep that and keep that. Want that? Can I split this? Let's do that. There we go. Let's sell these four, and we'll keep two of them, because I don't, I don't know. I seem like I'm finding them constantly, and I don't need a hundred of them. Potion of bark skin, we don't need. Cure light wounds, we'll sell that. We'll sell this club. Let's set these urn over here with the picture. There we go. Let's move that other note back there, too. Actually, I knew what that note was for. Mm. Oh, I got 4,000. Nice. I think I've still got plenty of healing potions, though. Right? Yeah. We're looking good there. Thank you, and goodbye. It's nice. I'm not doing good on money. Then we'll go back. And I think we will stop right here. And next time, we will check out the Milden in the state. Because... I don't know, it seems like we're getting pointed that way. Just so far I've been kind of pointed that way in a very evil manner, and I don't want to do it that way. So hopefully we can find another way in. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.